Let the American orchestra, with its music, breathe freely through all of its choirs with the rich and matchless diversity of its people and their cultures. Let me at last see and hear myself, my community, my city, and my country in the orchestra experience. The first time I played with Detroit Symphony in, in the hall, I was excited, terrified, nervous. It was all the emotions in one. I, I remember looking up into the audience being like, oh my gosh, like this is happening. I'm about to play a concert right now. That first time was like a shock, a shock to the system. I was like, ah, but now I feel better. I feel much better. Hi, I'm Alexander Davis, and I'm the current African-American fellow with the Detroit Symphony. African-American presence in classical music is growing more and more every day. Uh, and I think that is so important because there's so many professions we consider in the top rank of professions when it comes to being a doctor, a lawyer, and a classical musician. And these are all professions where deep down we all know that people work really hard for, and they study for, and they go to school for. And to have that presence in classical music is amazing. So the DSO as an organization feels it's imperative that we do everything possible to reflect our community and that is something that is at the heart of this fellowship. It's the commitment that we began in 1990. It's a commitment that we maintain today and it has spread across uh, all of our programs and now is really a core value of the institution. Fortunately, the fellowship program really hasn't changed that much in its focus. It still involves performing with the orchestra, mock auditions, and taking uh, private lessons. So, you know, it's been very successful, and there's many people that have gone through the program that now have orchestral positions. I feel very fortunate and proud to be a member of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. It really is at the forefront of promoting African-American musicians and music in the country. It's something that everyone in the organization and the community should feel proud about. My first time ever seeing representation of African-Americans in classical music was in my undergrad. I had an amazing teacher named Laura Kepke uh, who plays in Erie Philharmonic and she pushed me to do more than I ever thought I could. And one day she brought in the bassoonist from a uh, woodwind quintet called Amani Wins, and her name was Monica Ellis. And I will never forget the day I walked into the room and I saw Monica Ellis, and I was staring at her. I couldn't stop staring at her because for the first time, I could see myself in a classical musician. I saw myself, I saw my mother, I saw my sister, I saw my family, I saw the presence of color in classical music, and it blew my mind and I'll never forget it. It was the very, very first time where I decided in my life that I wanted to pursue to be a professional classical musician. Are you really? <laughs> really? Okay, yeah. I'm ready. That's not even good enough. That's your signature? <laughs> Shall we do it? That's your signature? Well, is it bad? It's like... I told you it was going to come out I bad. I knew it was going to come out bad.